nice. Um, I was thinking about this on my way over here, actually. I was like, oh, she's probably going to ask me what I'm listening to. Um, on, uh, literally on the drive over here, I was listening to the new Jonas Brothers record, which I think is kind of funny. Like, people don't expect that, but, like, I just am such a sucker for... That sucker. <laughs> yeah, that's like, yeah, I love that song, and, like, I heard that on the radio, and I was like... All right, the Jonas Brothers are back. I always was not into that, and then I, you know, dove in. The whole album's amazing. A lot of my favorite pop writers are on it because um, I studied songwriting for a while too, and I just have certain people in, in the pop business that I really look up to and try to, uh, you know, incorporate some of their style into mine as, as well. So yeah, I got that. Uh, Miranda Lambert's new record is just so so good. I love her stuff. I was never like a huge fan. She's been around for you know. 10, 15 years now, and I just, you know, I, women in country music in general for me right now is just so huge, and it's a big influence, and just what I really love listening to, um, because it's so honest, and their voices need to be heard, I think, more so, and especially living in Nashville, I just feel immersed in that sort of uh, culture, I think. I'm not, like, really part of it myself, like I'd like to be, like, I'm, so, I'm like, trying to, like, brush shoulders or anything, but... I think it's it's a good uh, side of history to be on in terms of where they where they're standing and, and all the great projects. The High Woman is another mm -hmm. great record that came out uh, over the fall that I really really can't stop listening to. And uh, I don't know, yeah. And there's also the heavier stuff more and more in our vein, like Knocked Loose. I really love and Four Year Strong is putting out new stuff that you know Four Year Strong is a huge huge influence for Matt and I. I think especially we just really uh, bond over that kind of music as well. So. It's all over the map, man. I can't, I can't narrow it down. I, and I like to say it's a good thing, but it, it's also nice to have focus sometimes. But like, when it comes to listening to music, it's just so much is, you know, uh, I don't know. It just does something to you. <laughs> well, I've got uh, got some Metallica, I've got Injustice for All, that album. That's a great album. Um, I've got a playlist of. Uh, some Dua Lipa, Ava Max, and Post Malone on there. Um, Brick House, because it's Brick House. <laughs> um, Sebastian Maniscalco, a lot of stand-up. Um, Tom Segura, Genesis, Animals as Leaders, Slipknot. Been listening to them a lot over the past year. Um, Rush, uh, Billy Cobham. Police Tool. I think I just had yeah, just their new album that's on my phone. Um, Aiken. Really like them too. They're kind of like Dream Theater's brainchild almost. They're Mike Portnoy's favorite band, so uh, Dream Theater, I've got them. Um, John Coltrane, Corn, Mashuga. <laughs> you were here, uh, UGK, Alan Jackson, Bobby Caldwell, Cage the Elephant, a bunch of stuff on here. We got from Duke, he's a Russian guy, it's great. Just a lot of stuff like that, it's Leonard Skinner. I, I'd say I listen to it all like an even amount. I've been listening to uh, a, probably just a lot of Alan Jackson lately. Um. It is a lot of punk, current, and classic, so the more recents, like Friends Around Body Jar, that kind of thing, Blink-182, and then back to like Vision in the 90s, and I mean, Body Jar and Blink were in the 90s too, and then further back of like Black Flag and the Dead Kennedys and that sort of thing. But also, um, I like to have a lot of collaborative playlists going on, so like uh, a bunch of my high school friends and I have shared playlists that we can all add things to. So that's like a lot of my just random one-off kind of stuff. So I'm really all over the place. I know that's kind of cliche to say, but I really am. And I think that's going to come through on the second album too, especially. But so that's that's what I've been doing mostly is just adding things to the to the shared playlist and just shuffling it and hearing what all my friends are listening to because that's, that's the best way that I've found to get into new music is like, I trust my friends to have good taste. Here's this playlist where all of us are adding things. Right. Um, it would, it would probably be a little less diverse than some of the other guys in the band. It's like a diverse mix of types of like rock based music with a few things in there. So it's mostly 
pop punk, metal, metalcore, hardcore, uh, some like more straightforward rock like Foo Fighters, and a little bit of hip hop depending on who it is, and some more electronic stuff or pop stuff. Like I really like Churches in the 1975 because I feel like their songwriting and hooks and instrumental hooks kind of relate to what I like about other sort of rock and guitar based bands, even if that's not always what those bands are doing. There's something deeper that they do that I like. Um, but nine times out of 10, if I shuffle it, it's gonna be some sort of heavy music coming on. I mean, I could sit here and list bands forever and then be upset that like I uh, left some out. But if I, if I were to list the five bands currently, like this past few months that I've listened to a lot, um, or just a handful of bands would be like, actually they just did the Spotify, like what you've listened to most this year or whatever. So it was definitely Frenzel Rum, a punk band from Australia, um, Chunk No Captain Chunk, Four Year Strong, uh, Stand Atlantic is a new, newer pop punk band from Australia that I've listened to a lot. Um, and then, Always Haken, a, uh, an English progressive metal band that Sean and I are huge fans of.